So would you like to get started with the PLS setup into the Shopify? So today let's dive into the detailed setup and walk through the Shopify point of sale system. So whether you are operating a physical storefront or looking to blend online in a personal sales, Shopify PLS can be a powerful tool for business. So let's get started with downloading the Shopify PLS application. In this case, I'm going to sign into the Shopify. If you don't have a Shopify store, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description so we can all get started having a huge deal for the next three months. So as you can see, we have this online store. Here is all the themes, the home, the dashboard. And here, what I want to be doing here is to get started with the POS of this actual store. So let's go into the web pod. And first of all, let's download out the Shopify POS app. So what you want her to do is to focus into the left pod that says point of sales. So as you can see, we have the sales channel where we can download out the Shopify POS. You can see that we have the POS point of sale or you can download it directly inside applications. If I focus here into apps, I only type POS of the Shopify and it's going to be having the point of sale. So you can choose one of those elements. Now, make sure your device is compatible with the application requirements. Now, it's going to be asking us, of course, to follow the prompts, which is where do you want to sell in person? At markets, at pop-ups, or you have your own brick and mortar stores. So let's say, for example, that I choose the element that says on my own brick and mortar store. I choose next. And this is the part which you want to integrate it with your Shopify store. So once installed it, you want to open the application as we are in here, and the app will automatically sync with your Shopify store online. So this integration is seamless and ensure that you have all the e-commerce and physical store information in just one place. So let's get started by following the prompts inside the point of sale. As you can see, it's going to be asking us which POS system do you use today? In this case, what I'm going to be using is I'm selling in person without a UPS system, just in case you are just getting started. If you are just getting started and you wanted to, let's say, for example, make the blending of an online store and a POS, then the best solution for us is to choose the I am not selling in person yet. And hit now into submit. Of course, depending on where you're actually currently living and the actual requirement, you might be having different tools and elements of your actual trial. Now it's going to be asking us to use a POS Pro account or a Lite Boson. So here in this case, I'm going to choose an actual subscription. So let me explain a little bit more about the Lite or the Pro. The actual Lite comes with an standard plant that actually shows everybody uses inside the Shopify store. But we have limited staff that can access POS if you have more than two, three people working with you, it might be complicated to get started. In the checkout, it's selling only into person in the basic receiving customization. Now the reporting and the inventory appears into the soil sales summary, but you don't get alerts, you don't get restock the order, you don't daily sale performance reports, you only have the total sales summary. And lastly, the customers. So we are able to capture name and email. So you are not able to add in notes, tags, value reporting, customer data, and all of that. As you can see, here's a summary of all the locations. Into the left pod, I can see the staff. Now, the staff can be helping us, of course, to get started by adding more people and working with us. Managing permission, track performance, build trust, and delegate with peace of mind. In this case, we actually are, are doing this by ourselves. So let's focus only into the point of sale dashboard. Now here, let's focus into add products. As you can see, all the products has been added automatically since all my product has been added from the online store. So that means that I can go back into my point of sale and I can focus into the actual hardware. So let's set up any necessary hardware. So Shopify POS can be used with a variety of hardware components such as a cash drawer, the recipient printer, barcode scanner, and card reader. So we can connect these devices to your tablet or smartphone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, depending on the device specifications. So we can follow on-screen prompts on the Shopify POS to ensure each device is connected properly. And lastly, you have the order hardware accessories. So we can choose to view supported hardware if you wish to download out or to purchase different hardware. Here are, for example, some basic components that you can use, even cards, for example, the Wise Path, the Shopify POS Go, POS Terminal. Even Shopify has their own POS that you can purchase. Uh, in order to drive some sales. So that depending on where you actually are currently living and the options available into your store. And lastly, configure the payment method. So here, usually the store details to set up a payment provider, it appears here where it says set up payments. 
So I choose the option that says set up payments and it's going to be sending us directly here into settings and here into payments. In this case, I have active the Stripe and the PayPal. You can add your own payment method or enable Shopify payments if you are in a country that is eligible. So how we can add POS staff, we can set up uh, local pickup, setting up shipping for in-store customers or customized treatment. So those are the tools to get started totally for free inside the point of sale. By having an actual current plan, you have the POS light version totally for free, guys. So there you have it. Your Shopify POS system is now set up and ready to transform on how you do your business. So with the Shopify POS, you're seamless connect your online and offline sales, creating a unified experience for both of you. So guys, if you find this story helpful, please like, shop, and subscribe for more practical business solutions. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we can all see you next time.